Today's Wellness Wednesday focuses on an often taboo topic, something many women suffer from, but about half don't seek treatment. And the thing is, you don't have to suffer in silence. It's very common, but often untreated. Urinary incontinence. It's not something people typically talk about, but Dr. Kayla Muniz tells me 30 to 50% of women in the U.S. are suffering from it. Age, unfortunately, is uh, a factor, um, but things like obesity, um, pregnancies, um, and medical conditions such as, conditions such as um, diabetes can affect it. So for some, it may be unavoidable, but the thing is, it's treatable. For starters, let's talk about the two kinds. There's stress and urgency. Here's a normal, happy bladder. It's, you know, it's stable. The picture next to it, urgency caused by a contraction of the bladder. It's that like, you know, quick urge and you gotta go, you gotta go, and you're rushing to make it to the bathroom, you might have an accident on the way there. Then there's stress incontinence. This comes with the buildup of pressure in the abdomen. <laughs> with exertion, with um, coughing, laughing, sneezing. A patient can suffer from both, and carbonation, alcohol, caffeine, all can make it worse. The wall is bulging down. To the but both kinds can be treated through exercises to retrain the bladder, medications, or even surgery. In order to restore anatomy, in order to repair that, you basically reconstruct and flatten out that wall. There are options out there, and though you may not feel the urge to talk about it, Dr. Muniz wants you to know you don't have to keep suffering alone. I think that once it starts affecting their quality of life, you know, they should reach out to their, their physician. Now there are two big red flag warning signs she talked about, urinary leakage with blood or with pain. And if you have three or more UTIs in a year, Dr. Muniz says you should definitely seek out a specialist.